Greetings to the beautiful people of the Indiana Conference of the United Methodist Church. Uh, Bishop Tremble, I'm sheltering in place and uh, right now sitting in my office at home. I want to say thank you to all of our churches and our pastors for the ways in which you have continued to be faithful. Uh, it has been said several years ago uh, that we cannot transform the world by simply going to church. We can only transform the world by being the church. A big thank you to our pastors and lay leaders and laity of the Indiana Conference for the ways in which you were able to engage our congregations and community this past Easter Sunday. Jesus Christ is risen, risen indeed. The coronavirus pandemic has certainly impacted the way we live our lives in our society, in our ministry, in the ways in which we've been able to meet or not meet. And we recognize that this is not over. We've had to make some difficult decisions. And one of those decisions is that uh, after consulting with healthcare professionals and Indiana University Health, uh, we have decided to postpone the annual conference to August the 15th at Indiana Wesleyan University and October the 10th at St. Luke's United Methodist Church in Indianapolis. There'll be two one-day meetings and we will care for all of the necessary business of the annual conference. Uh, I'm certain that this will raise questions on many persons' part and you will certainly get answers from us shortly. We look forward to the ways in which you continue to support your churches. I am so proud to be your bishop at this moment in history and to hear about the ways in which pastors and laity have continued to support our congregations and our ministry, especially the ministry to those who are most vulnerable. Many of our members have been impacted by the disruption of employment. We have a number of people who are essential workers and still have to go to work. We pray for those persons that are working directly with coronavirus patients and other persons who have health concerns. We're certainly concerned about our persons who are in retirement communities and who are also faced with challenges during this season. I am so glad to see the ways in which we are sharing best practices and we are depending upon the gifts of our laity and our clergy like never before. I look forward to those things that we will have to face together in the coming weeks. And we will continue to claim the victory in the name of Jesus Christ, our risen Savior. God bless you. Hold the date, August the 15th, October the 10th, when we will be meeting for annual conference.